this is Avinash Sharma and in this session we will discuss what is the Agile exactly. Before we discuss the Agile in details, uh, first of all we discuss the traditional project management that is the waterfall. What is the waterfall and what is the drawback with the waterfall? In waterfall, everything happens in a sequence. All the phases of the project development occur in the sequence like the feasibility, planning, designing, building, testing, production and support. All these steps are taken sequentially one after another. Waterfall model. We can understand this model with this diagram. When we go for the project development, so there is a cycle and there are some steps which have to be followed in a sequence. First of all, we analyze the requirement, then we go for the designing part. After the designing, then we go for the development. It means we assign the task to the development team. Then for the testing and finally, after testing, the project is deployed. So these are the steps and these steps have to be taken in a sequence, a proper sequence. So this is a waterfall model. In waterfall model, the two things are very important. First, the time and cost. Time and cost may vary, but the requirement are fixed. When we analyze the requirement, so it is assumed that all the requirement are fixed. Once the project development starts, then there is no change in the requirement. Waterfall model is suitable when the entire scope is known and remains stable. It means when you start the project development and you have the full knowledge of that project. It means the timing, the duration, the team size and the risk within that project. You know everything. Then in that case, you can follow the waterfall model. Drawback of the waterfall model or disadvantage of the waterfall model. As we discussed, in waterfall model, we assume that all the requirements are fixed. So once the project is deployed, after the deployment, it becomes almost impossible or very difficult to incorporate new changes or new requirements in that project. So this is the drawback with this waterfall model. The agile model plays a very important role for absorbing the new changes. As we discussed, this, this is the drawback with the waterfall model. But in case of Agile, the Agile has been designed in such a way that during the development process, any new requirement or any new change can be incorporated. Aspend in Agile. What is the aspend? It's like a divide and conquer. A complex project is divided into small chunks. That is called the aspend. And aspend each and every aspect has its own steps or process and it's a set of period. All the steps, all the process has to be completed within that period. So as you can see the diagram, we have the four aspect. So each and every aspect has its own process and own time per period and own task. So each and aspect has to be completed within its own time period. Agile model is suitable for the big and complex project. In case of the big and complex project, we can divide the project into small chunks and then we can define the time period for each and every chunk. Also, we can define the number of tasks has to be done within that time of period. Agile is a combination of the incremental iterative. Incremental means work or project is divided into small chunks and each and every chunk has its own time of period. So the time, the task defined within that chunks are completed within that time of period. And after completion, then we take the feedback. And on the basis of the feedback, the new changes or the new requirement are incorporated that chunk. Agile model is also called the project management methodology. So guys, this was about the Agile. What is the adjective Agile? If you like this video, Please subscribe the channel and like the video. Thanks for watching the video.